Hi guys, welcome to this video on the uses of metals and their alloys. For the GCSE, you need to know about gold, copper and aluminium, as well as their alloys, which are jewellery gold, brass and magnalium. So if we start off with gold then, which is an excellent conductor of electricity and doesn't corrode. This means that it can be used in electrical circuits. Gold is very expensive however, so it's usually used for smaller things like memory chips and computers. Gold is also incredibly soft and malleable, meaning that by itself it's too soft to use for jewellery. To get by this, small amounts of copper can be added to make an alloy. That alloy is called jewellery gold. Now the good thing about this is it will keep its ability to shine, making it attractive, but it's also stronger so it doesn't get damaged or scratched as easily. If we move on to copper then, Copper is also a good conductor of electricity, and a lot cheaper than gold, so it's used in electrical circuits. It is also ductile, so it can be stretched into wires easily. And finally, it's also malleable, which means it can be hammered into shape, so it can be used to make things like pipes. On to our next one, which is brass, which is an alloy, and it's an alloy of copper and zinc. Copper is a better conductor of electricity than brass, which is a disadvantage, but brass is stronger, meaning it's less likely to break. This makes it useful for things like plug pins. Moving on to aluminium. Aluminium does not react because it has a layer of aluminium oxide. This stops it from corroding. This means that aluminium can be used as foil as it won't react with the food, keeping the food fresh. Aluminium is also used in overhead cables and that's because it's a good conductor of electricity. And although it's not as good a conductor as copper, it's less dense, so lighter, and it's also cheaper making it better suited for those overhead cables. On to magnalium, our last one. Magnalium is an alloy of magnesium and aluminium. 5% magnesium and 95% aluminium. Now just by adding that small amount of magnesium makes the alloy much stronger, but it also keeps the density low. This means that magnalium can be used to make aircraft parts. And the reason for this being it's strong, still has a low density, and it's got a good resistance to corrosion. Okay, that's all you need to know on the uses of these metals and their alloys. And I have got a quick question for you to check what you've taken in. That question is, metals and alloys have many different uses. For each metal below, explain what makes them suitable for their uses. So you have copper used in electrical circuits, aluminium used in drinks cans, Jewellery gold used in jewellery and magnalium used for aircraft parts. Pause the video, think about the main properties and have a go at the question. I would also mention the metals involved in the alloys for jewellery gold and magnalium to get your full marks. Okay, let's go through. So we'll start off with copper, which is used for electrical circuits. Why? Because it's a good conductor of electricity. And then it's also ductile so it can be stretched into wires for your second mark. Onto aluminium for drinks cans. So there are three ways you can get your two marks here. The first one being it forms a layer of aluminium oxide. Aluminium won't corrode for your second mark and therefore the drink won't react with the metal for your third mark. Any two of those three gets you two out of two. Onto jewellery gold, which is used in jewellery. The main thing is because jewellery is shiny and attractive, so that gets you one mark. And then why, why do we use jewellery gold instead of just gold? Because the alloy of copper and gold makes it stronger. So you need to say it's an alloy, you need to say it's of copper and gold, and you need to say it's stronger, all for that mark. And finally, magnalium, used in aircraft parts, because the alloy of aluminium and magnesium makes it stronger than just aluminium. So you need all of those bits for that mark then it's still low density for your second mark and there is an extra way you can get two out of two which is it will not corrode. Right, hopefully you got all that right. I have got a review question for you which states brass, an alloy of copper and zinc is used in plug pins. It isn't as good a conductor of electricity as copper. So explain why we use brass in plug pins instead of copper. If you want to have a go, put your answers in the comments and I'll let you know if you're right. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.